helpless to Homo sapiens sapiens. The skilled human. The species of humans who could use their hands skillfully is known as the skilled human. The first evidence of this species was found in the border region between Tanzania and Kenya in the continent of Africa. The scientist Louis Leakey, who discovered this species, named it Homo habilis because besides their fossilized remains, he found some tools made by them. In Latin, homo means man and habilis means the one who uses his hands skillfully. Homo habilis could stand on two feet and walk. His spine was slightly bent and not quite erect. His brain was bigger than that of the apes, although his face and limbs were some what similar to theirs. The stone tools made by homo habilis were not useful for hunting big animals. They had limited uses, such as scraping meat from the skin of dead animals, or breaking bones to get the marrow. We can infer from this that Homo habilis was a forager. He ate the leftover of animals that had been hunted by other animals. It is possible that he ate small animals and gathered eggs, wild fruits and roots to eat. Homo erectus Homo erectus marks an important stage in human evolution. Erectus means the one who stands erect, hence the name Homo erectus. Compared to Homo habilis, he had a more developed brain. Humans of the Homo erectus species lived in groups. Having seen wildfires, humans knew about fire. It is likely that Homo erectus had learned the technique of fetching the burning branches of trees to use that fire. During his time, most of the earth was covered with ice sheep. Therefore, the climate was extremely cold. Homo erectus could survive in that extremely cold climate because he had learned to use fire. However, he had not yet mastered the technique of making fire. Tools made by the Homo erectus were more developed and symmetrical compared to those made by Homo habilis. Homo erectus made tools like the hand axe. Remains of Homo erectus have been found along with his tools in the continents of Africa, Asia and Europe. Homo neanderthalensis, neanderthal man. One more stage of development in human evolution is Homo neanderthalensis. He was physically big and strong. He is commonly known as the neanderthal man because his remains were first found at Neanderthal, a place in Germany. His brain was more developed than that of Homo erectus. The neanderthals primarily lived in caves. They made tools out of big pebbles as well as from the flakes scraped off from them. Such tools were fixed on a bone or wooden shaft to make weapons like the spear, axe, etc. The Neanderthals hunted big animals. They used scrapers made from stone flakes to scrape meat from the side of dead animals. They used leather clothing. They were mainly meat eaters. They ate meat roasted on fire. They knew the art of making fire by rubbing sticks of hard wood on each other or by striking one flintstone on another to obtain sparks. It is likely that the Neanderthals had developed some artistic skills. Some scientists believe that they also communicated with each other by producing grunts and other primary sounds. However, it is not known whether they had a developed language system to express their thoughts with the help of words. In the course of time, some groups of Neanderthals left Africa and migrated up to the continents of Europe and Asia. Naturally, they had to face a different environment. They had to adopt new ways of living and finding food. Therefore, they went on modifying and improving the tools that were essential in their life. However, the improvements in tools took place over thousands of years. Homo sapiens is the name used for humans that were more advanced than the Neanderthals. Homo sapiens means intelligent or intellectual man. On the basis of C14 dating, it is estimated that the Neanderthals became extinct about 30,000 years ago. Homo sapiens, the human species that was more intelligent than any of the earlier species, was named Homo species. In Europe, Homo species is also known as Cro-Magnon man. Their remains have been found in the continents of Europe, and Asia, and Africa. Homo species made different kinds of tools and equipment to suit the task they needed to do. They used to make stone blades and fix them in grooves and notches made in wood or bone handles. Homo species had evolved to the stage of having a fully developed larynx which could produce a range of sounds with subtle differences. The jaws and the muscles inside the mouth were well developed 
and the tongue was flexible, and Homo species could use them to produce a variety of sounds and modulate his voice the way he liked. He had a well-developed language system. He could draw pictures on the basis of actual observation as well as imagination. He even began to make artistic objects. That is why he has been named Homo species, that is intelligent man or thinking man. Homo species and civilizations, Homo species species. Homo species species is the name given to the humans as their capacity to think developed even further than that of Homo species. The capacity of their brain and their grasping power also developed further with time. The modern humans are Homo species species. The appearance and health characteristics of human species indicate their similarity to their ancestors. This is known as heredity. Genetics is a science that studies heredity. Genetic research has shown that we have inherited some traits of the Neanderthal man. Thus it can be said that the Neanderthal man and Homo species are both ancestors of the modern humans. Around 11,000 to 10,000 BC, Homo species species developed the technique of cultivating land and keeping animals. Because of their well-developed capacity to think, the speed at which they improved their technology increased with time. They began to live a more settled life. They began to grow food grains in the field. As a result, the amount of carbohydrates in their food increased. The name Homo species species reflects their intellectual and cultural rather than their physical prowess. All animals must necessarily meet their basic need for food. However, modern humans are not satisfied with only doing that much. Through their efforts to enrich their lives using their creativity, intelligence and skills, human beings acquired a culture and continue to develop it. The technological and cultural progress achieved by modern humans after the beginning of agriculture and domestication of animals has been extremely